Hello guys, this is Steve. Today I just want to do a quick tip on how you can make a more professional uh, thumbnail for YouTube channel. Uh, there's a couple of programs that I've been using. One is called Canva.com and the other one is called Snappa.com and both of them are pretty good and I've just been using the free version so far. Uh, I don't think it costs a whole lot though, a lot of money to uh, sign up and upgrade. Uh, you get a, f a few more features, you're limited to the number of downloads that you have on the free version. So let me get myself down where we can, where you can see the screen. Okay, let me come over here. I'm going to put myself over here so maybe you can see it better. Okay, so when you go to canva.com, this is the screen that right here that you'll see. And uh, there's uh, a new version called Canva 2.0 that I didn't realize they'd just come out with. But the easiest way to do this for a YouTube thumbnail is when you get to this screen it's got recommendations recommended templates right here with all these and you just uh, scroll over until you recognize one let's see here it is YouTube thumbnail and that's usually a 1280 by 720 pixel but it's already a template for it so just click on it And there we go. And it'll come up and it's got all these templates you can choose from. And this is your blank canvas right here. So, you know, you can, uh, some of them, a lot of them are free. And they'll say it right here. Free, 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 free. Now this one's not. This one is, this one is, this one is. And you can just scroll down and try to pick out something that you like or I, today I'm just going to do a real simple real simple one because it's just going to be a quick tip on how to use it and I'm not a, a techie person so bear with me and it's been, a, it's been a little while since I've even used this program uh, so you pick one that's you know kind of stands out that you think you'd like to use I'm just going to use this free one right here so when you click on it this comes up on the canvas for you to start editing so I guess the first thing I'm going to do is show you the background here is sort of a light green so if you click on that you can change it to uh, yellow right here or orange or you can change it to blue or whatever color you know seems to fit what you you're trying to do so let's just put it right here on blue for that okay now on this one this is your heading and in your main title so it, if you go inside the block and left click, okay, let's see, yeah, it's, there it is. It's got the color right here for this block. If you want to change it, you do the same thing. You can go to yellow, or you can go to pink, you can change it to whatever color you desire. So, oh, all right. So that's how you do that now to edit it you click on on here and you've got this you can't see it very well probably but there's this little uh, block in here for text and if you click inside of it and then drag across and highlight it you can delete that text and you can put something else in, whatever it is you want to say, like, 
my in my case I've got a site called Steve's Freedom Formula. I just type that in. Now also I think let's see if you want to change the uh, type you can uh, click right here and click on a different one okay and of course you have to readjust it once you do but uh, it's got different t uh, fonts see different fonts there you choose the font that you like whichever one you prefer or what you're looking for to do and there's plenty of them you can scroll on down see here's Miko Bold that looks pretty good so if you want to center this you just uh, I'll find, let's see should be able to uh, space in let's see Oh, there, there we go. Well, that brings both of them. I'm trying to just get the... I'm trying to get the... Oh, okay. What we can do is click on the orange here. And... You can adjust it. Well, you get the... You get the idea. And center it. Uh... And I'm just playing around to kind of give you a demonstration. Now, this is the front. I know that I can get this goes up higher. I don't know why. It's, I'll just shrink this down. That's what I'll do. Uh, let me get this. I'm going to shrink the font type, the number down. It's on way up there on 139. So let's just go to 104. There we go. That makes it better. So when you get it all designed like you want, see, you just play around with it. It takes a little while to get the hang of it. But uh, now on, uh, let's see, what was it I'm trying to get to now? Let's see. Yeah, on edit, 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 edit. Oh, okay, here we go. When you click, see these graphics behind there? See, so you notice here's one block, and then here's another one over here. And uh, under position, see these are, these are on layers. There's actually like two or three layers here. And with this first block, it's on top. And then this is behind it, and so is this one, and then this main screen's behind it. So I'll show you. If I click forward on that, it comes to the front. And if I click uh, backwards, it goes back the way it was. So, you know, if your type or text here happens to get somehow end up behind the graphics or whatever you can move it forward and backwards right here and you can center things like that uh, center that graphic uh, we'll go back to the right or like it was okay so you can play around with this and do a lot of things with it uh, it's really neat and I don't think it's uh, it's not much at all to to uh, actually upgrade to to use it a lot more than I do, but it's free to use for so many downloads. Now, when you get it like you want, right here you can just click on this download button, and it's and it says download, and it's in PNG. That's good enough. So I can just click download download and it says preparing your down your design and we'll come over here and uh, I've got uh, I've got a uh, got this under drop box yeah so that says adores beauty vlogs so we'll know just click save 
and it should save it. Now this is going to try to get you to, <laughs> it says you can work free for a 30 day trial and then after that, you know, they're trying to get you to upgrade to it, but it's not much. All right, so after you've downloaded it and saved it, then you can come back to over to your YouTube channel and see like here, I've got one that doesn't have a customized thumbnail, so I'll just click on it and we'll see. Let me stop it right quick. Okay, we'll come down and it says edit. Click on edit. Now, when you edit this, you know, you can you can change description and all this stuff when you edit your video. See right here, it says thumbnail. So if I click on thumbnail, this is the one that's being used. So if you want to, uh, you know, load upload this custom one that you build, see it's got an area right here. Uh, you just drag and drop that image file right there. And I'm just going to move this out. Because, well, let me see. I can use this maybe. I go to... Uh, my Dropbox. Okay, here it is. See, it's, it's overlapping, but let me just move it out of the way so you can see. Now we're going to bring this over. Here it is. And just drop it right there. Now, once you do that, all you have to do is click Save. And see, it shows up right here is the thumbnail for your video so of course I'm not gonna use this one so I'll go back and delete it but that's just a quick tip on uh, how to customize or make your thumbnails look a little more professional maybe get a little more uh, attention and more views and whatnot uh, so this is Steve coming back to you let me get back up here where you can see me again. <laughs> Y'all have a good day, a blessed day, and I'll see you next time.